Don't you think that it's ironic that right after I put a video out about me dating the most amazing girl in the world and then making a video about her for 2016 or putting her in that video, we break up on our four month. Today's our four month. Today's been like the worst day in my entire life. What's up guys? Ink here today with a new video. Now I'm not going to be talking about her the whole video, but I just wanted to tell you guys that because I mean, who cares anymore? I'm a ninth grader who plays video games and makes YouTube videos and literally do the stupidest things with my friends. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I'm I'm perfectly fine with playing video games 24-7, playing football, hanging out with friends, and doing whatever I want and talking to whatever girl I want to talk to because, I mean, the single life is dope. I went to Chuck E. Cheese over the weekend. That place is still lit. I'm, I'm literally 14 and I still <laughs> like that place. I still made my grandma buy me coins, tokens to play video games and the basketball game that you shoot hoops and you get high scores. You just have to make it in. I literally got the high score for about two hours and then somebody came around and got a 79 high score. I played with this one black kid and he was literally making the sickest shots. Like he would step back five feet and then he'd be like, he'd just jump it. He'd just do a jumper and he was like, four foot eleven he was literally the shortest kid i've ever seen and he's already a baller i think he's like six but i never really had a birthday at chuggy e. cheese have you guys ever had a birthday at chuggy e. cheese i've never had a birthday at chuggy e. cheese i wish i had a birthday at chuggy e. cheese before but i never did i always had it like at this one place in salem we have like a place called fun factory and it has laser tag skating a fun place a bouncy house and that's basically it. They have a few arcade games, but that's all they really have. And we would go there for my birthday. I went there once for my birthday. And there was a lot of people there, to be honest. I didn't know I was that famous. I'm just kidding. I'm not famous. But I didn't know that I had that many friends or that many family members, to be honest with you. But it was probably because my grandpa threw the party. And it, I really don't know his side of the family. So, I mean, that place has turned very scummy now. Like, there's people that go there and smoke weed that have, like intercourse there i can't say it out loud because that's bad that's very bad but there's people that do really bad stuff there it's called the scum factory now uh if i was a scumbag i would go there and show you guys but i'm not really a scumbag i'd look very bad there i wouldn't probably have any more friends after i go there and then come to school i'd stand out because most of the kids that go there don't have really nice clothes like i do nike clothes nike shoes nike hoodie yeah, I probably would stand out a lot. The downtown of my town is, like, very, very bad. It's probably how every town is, but really, we don't have an uptown. The only uptown we have is where all the stores are, and you can't really walk around there. It's just really people driving around, going in the stores, and it's where old people go or adults go. And then downtown is where everybody goes to walk around and mess around and stuff because, I don't know, I don't know. Our, play, our downtown has a lot more sidewalks and has a lot more places to go to, like Pizza Hut. It has a lot more little businesses that you can eat at and stuff. It's it's really weird. You think that'd be like a really, really nice place, but it's very, very bad and very scummy where all the bad people go to. That's where the fun factory is at. That's why I don't leave my house, because Salem is a bad freaking town. It's horrible. Our school is almost, almost, just a little bit. It's by a gas station. It's not really by the gas station, but all you have to do is walk down the street to get to this gas station. And it's, it's like maybe a mile away from being in scumbag territory. Our school is scumbag already because a bunch of scumbags go to our school already. But hey, our school is close to being very, very scummy. There are a bunch of gothic people, a bunch of people that, like, are lesbians and gays. There's this one Snapchat that I saw today. Oh, my God. There's this gay kid in our grade, and he is very mean and very... Like, he's not... He's a mean kid. He's annoying. He's very mean. He's a bad kid, okay? But he's gay. And today, he took a picture on this one girl's phone and was like, Hacked by gay boy? What? What? At least he can make fun of it. At least he can make fun of himself, but come on, dude. Come on. He also came to school with Uggs. If you guys don't know what Uggs are, those are 
boots, furry boots, and then he came to school with leggings on too. He steals leggings from other girls, from girls at our school. What? What is going on? What is happening? If I knew, I would tell you. I honestly would tell you, but I don't know what goes through people's heads anymore. I guess I'm the only one that thinks there's something wrong with that because everybody supports him. There are a few guys at my school that post it on Snapchat and make fun of him, but like, there's not many. People are like, gay's okay. No, it's not. Not to me, it's not. All right, I know this was a short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like. And I'll be uploading a lot more since I don't have a girlfriend anymore. And yeah.